I'm going to try to steal this mace here. Um, and to do so, I have to escape somehow or break the thing from working. So, um, I'm going to save it. Make sure that we killed all the power sources. There's one here. Um. Okay, so I had I did have an idea. So Lizelle has the Githyanki jump enhancement. Um. So maybe I have her try to take it. An ornate mace hovered a fist-sized piece of this mace certainly has a very unusual design. You recall all taking this mace would surely lead to something quite disastrous. things that we could try to do, we could try to kill, we have these things generally. Can I... Can I perhaps do something to this device over here? Mm. Alright, everybody else... Can I kill the energy portal? Let's see. Um, no. So we can kill these things. Hmm. I guess we're just dashing. Get everybody out of the room. Also, I gotta take a leap here. Yeah. 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 I'm back, I'm back. Let's escape. Oh, 
I know what to do. Everybody out of the door. Everybody out of the door on um, there. On the first turn. I think we may be okay. We just may have to take some damage here. So like Made it ready. Two steps at a time. Anybody can get out. We can probably res the rest. Some scrolls, maybe. Two turns left. I think Lazelle gets away. Up. 
Keep him base. I'm gonna try sending him this way. Wits and blades always sharp. Turn left. ain't gonna make it. At least not like this. Nothing. She can survive. Sorry guys. Let's get on with it. Let's be quick. There's no time to waste. Can't I in the turn? Blade close. Will. Blade at the ready. Oh. Protocol 402. Our greed reduced Crash Yillick to rubble. Blacketh, absolve my sin or skewer my heart. <laughs> In each, you might make me worthy. Uh. I can't just because I do not expect you to mourn. Skaketh, 
next time. Alright, so now the problem being that we need to resurrect people. So let's see, we've got So who jacked it? It was Lizelle. Successfully robbed the legendary artifact and gotten away with it. And all it goes was two scrolls of resurrection. <clears throat> mm, shame about all those gift Yankees over here. Real shame. I guess I should have stolen one of the eggs while I was at it if I was just gonna fucking wipe him off the map, right? So we're going to want to at least short rest here and maybe have Shadowheart burn a spell slot. Oh, cable car. Hello. Everybody on. Oh, shit. There's a cable car. That's cool. Doesn't seem like it's very safe. No guardrails or anything. I'll 
six. Two level six. Uh, that's pretty dangerous. Ninety-four percent, huh? So if I go over here and I activate this, seventy-five. All right, we're gonna take that. And then we're just gonna do a little bit of a sneaky. I didn't do very much, actually. Yikes, there's a lot of level sixes. Well, I think it's gonna be time for the testing of that mace. We got it just in time. This is terrifying. Um, okay. Sunbeam. <laughs> it just blinds them from being in close. That's absurdly sick. We put Shadowheart at the front end, then. I put a big old snipe. these fools up. Come on then. Wow, so we just become like Omega powerful versus our dead with that artifact. Ow. No, I gotta get her in the fight. Shadowheart, get in there. Kill this. Fine, just kill it. One less action for the opponents. What the? 
Well, you can't heal them. That's no fair. I'll just kill this again. <laughs> oh no. healing. Oh, that's full plate. I keep that. Chuck this over to Lazelle. And on me too, I think. I don't trust that at all. Well, they don't care. Okay. <laughs> Who's there, Wanderer? Still, I call Hell, minister a to indulge an old man. May I inquire if, perchance, you retain among your traveling companions a man who adheres to the given name of Gale? Yeah. He's resting in. Uh, may I inquire who? Should is it inquiring? be the nature of our acquaintance that interests you? Well, you may safely classify Gale. Should it there. be the nature of your interlocutor that you desire to drag from the dark and unknown, and I shall be glad to aid in your quest for illumination and identify myself as Elminster. Elminster Omar. Now, if this answer satisfies you, 
Let us linger no longer in this limbo of indecision, but settle on your knowledge of the individual I Jesus, see. Jesus, dude. I do not know Gail. He's in my camp. Ever a man of leisure. Would it pain you greatly to assist me along the little voyage I intend to undertake to this um, aforementioned camp? Sure. And I would confirm it to be. I needed to go back to camp anyway. Ooh, Gail, are you in trouble? My thanks for your excellent guidance. Ah, and yonder I spy the object of my pursuit. Elminster? The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too, finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. I don't understand. How so on my behalf? I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me, Gale. You know of whom I speak. But why? Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Waterdeep washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare, worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. <laughs> he just wants food. Surely you won't begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before uh, I get yeah, sure. out. And a great kindness that would be. See, Gale? Even in these just sitting here parts, covered in fucking blood. Just genocided all on clay of gift. If only one keeps up the practice. Oh, for the love of... <laughs> fine, fine. I'll turn a deaf ear to the clarion cause <laughs> which my scorned stomach besieges. Jesus, he's so worthy. matters are at hand. Plenty to digest, after all. A good deal to stew over, if you will. Word, Alminster. Right. Um, you see, I am... You forgot. That is to say, Gail, my boy, I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message and the charge I bring you are hers. What message and what charge would that be? A long awaited question. Now, if you please, oh, you forgot. Elminster, please the forget. Too long awaited answer. You know where you went wrong, Gail. And I trust you told your fellow traveler here the nature of your ills. I can't say that so far I volunteered uh, the entire truth. Do you mean to say you've never bothered to disclose how dangerous you are? Not in so many words. No. Then you two have much to discuss after I'll have taken my yeah. leave. In short, Gale, through his own doing, has become a living explosive that could wipe from this world this very gathering and, and much more besides. For his folly, Mistra forsook him. But now, she has decreed he is to be given a chance of redemption. Mistral would consider forgiveness. She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. Mistral is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the absolute, that most insidious of evils. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't happen to know. Yes, the 
creature that afflicts you, the ill-begotten magic that it weaves is inextricably conjoined with both the greater purpose and the greater master that it serves. You must know that the absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the mm. weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gale, with its destruction. It is Mistress' belief that only you can. So... He's like a human nuke, a human magic nuke. Precisely. That which renders him so dangerous is an orb of Netherese origin that is buried within his chest. And that, Gale, is how we arrive at the heart of my directive. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This could be help or hindrance. We shall have to see. You must find the heart of the absolute, whatever that may be, and use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will burn it from this world. Oof. That's monstrous, you can't. He is not. But it seems that Mistra is. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend. But such is Mistra's will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistra's promise. With that, I've said my sorry piece. I need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. It's a long journey ahead. We can or find some other four journey. altogether. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas, so too. The sky-strewn gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, an ocean born in lonely hours, come ebb, come flow, come all that is beyond the breadth of our dominion. Be a moon unto yourself. Even the waves of fate and break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. All right. An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I suppose it's time we dealt with the Hollyphant in the room. You have questions for me? What's this for? Ah. And what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The lady of mysteries. The goddess Mistra. 
She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse, and later even my lover. Oh, yes. We enjoyed each other's company. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. Uh, how do you try to cross? Try to convince her. I pouted, I pleaded, swore my ambition was only to serve her better. She only smiled and told me to be contented. Inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess, and yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? Oh, no, do continue. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. He almost managed, but not quite. His entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured and shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought. Until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book. A netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? The answer was to try, and the outcome was to fail. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next, here, place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in, into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread moon. Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, Remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. Mm. Go on. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, 
Let's say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it would level a city the size of Waterdeep. Fortunately, this need no longer be a concern. Not until I meet the heart of the Absolute, whatever that is. All right. Well, that's cool. He's a wizard too. He's certainly got the beardliness for it. Why did he come all this way to track us down? <laughs> Whoa now, he's got a... Well, I guess that would explain a little, but... Mistra? <laughs> I mean, this is a lot to take in. What's he going to do? Uh, seems like he's gonna follow through with it. <laughs> Fuck me. There's devotion and then there's stupidity. If the god of magic can't handle this without sacrificing Gale, she's no god at all. <sighs> Poor Gale. He must be in bits after hearing that. <sighs> I'll distract him. <laughs> Tell him I haven't read a book since secondary school. Watch his face melt off. <laughs> Old Rusty? Sure. Gives me energy. Power. But you've seen it in action. Very hard to control. If I'm excited at all, Angry, nervous, delighted, enticed. I'd burn hot. Hot enough Ugh. to burn anyone who gets close. Yikes. You must be pin up. I try not to think about it. I still think about it constantly, but, you know, I try. One of these days, I'll sort the whole infernal affair out, get myself cooled off, start making up for lost time. But, not today. All right, so we need to take her back to the camp. And I need it. That's actually, that's actually good, because I need a vendor. So... Sure, Bob. Blazale. I'm gonna trade your shit out. Without delay. A hero at heart. Two steps at a time. A delight, surely. I'm gonna have. Would she demand Gate? Does she not think he can destroy the Absolute with his own immense talents? Does she not know the mighty company that he keep demanding Vlakith may be? But she acts for the good of the Githyanki people. Mistra is concerned only for herself. <sighs> Perhaps he'd find forgiveness in a fiery death. But I can't... Trial of faith. Kalir prepared me. Only the heaviest souls soar to the astral. Yes. Yes. I might gain Vlaketh's favor yet. Silence! I must think. I am Vlacky. Chuck, you believe. 
believe you can survive without me. As you say. Wait, hang on. No, I need your shit. You must have qu- It is done. Well, I okay. Come over here. We're trading you out for Carlisle. And then we're gonna respect Carlisle into a Zerk. Um, so first... Here's a crate. Perfect. Sorry I took your clothes. Uh, can you wait Chuck, in the camp? You believe you can survive without me? No, I'm As you here. say, do not keep me waiting. No more. All right, great. Now, uh, Carl, why don't you? Why are we slowing down? Um. We were both part of Zariel. In the grand scheme of things, I'm inconsequential to Z But she favored me like a child favors a captive pet. Mizora envied the attention, I suppose. I'm sure when <laughs> Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. I guess that's good news, right? Maybe Zariel's found some other poor sap to occupy. <sighs> no kidding. The fight? I don't know. You'd think she'd have more important things to do. Devils and their pride. Um. Aces. Thanks.
Prison Rage Thurgum. Oh, that's cool. Moving it. The pride of the gate. All right, well, we're going to town. So I'm gonna sell a bunch of shit. And then maybe do the Necronomicon. calls already. There could be even tougher days ahead. Cheer up. It might be all downhill. Meaning... Mission will deteriorate from here. Exactly. Defender of the people. Heading out. Dead animals, including birds. Oh yeah, I wanted to... hang on. Sent a knight to slay me with his own blade. Mm, Such sorry, informality, I child. Your clothes again. Does just still Kithrak not command your respect? Your blade speaks for you, Kithrak. You've come for blood. Child of Gith, I've not come to kill you. I've come to aid you. Don't trust him. Skakak Kir Gith Shabeleth. My blade rests. Mother Gith compels you to listen. Um. Oh, fine. Be at ease. I bring only truth. I know you carry the astral prism, Lazar. Within it lies the seed of Vlakith's demise. And I intend to help you bring it to fruition. Vlakith's demise? Skakath! I should run you through for suggesting it. I'm asking for your help and your trust. I've heard word from Kresh Yulik. You are infected, yet the one in the prism has chosen you. 
protect you with their power. The Prism's tenant alive sought their freedom for Eon. Instead, you've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. Or bring the Prism to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting in a taproom called Shares' Caress. That is where we decide the fate of my people. Lazel. together we will break our chains and be Vlacketh's slaves no longer. I am no slave, she's still Kidrak. The Undying Queen is my freedom. It is she who will purify me and she who will ascend me. Lies, Lazel, every last one. There is no purification, no ascension. The Zaith Isk does not purify, it extracts memory and kills the infected. Nor does the Lich Queen glorify the Ascended. She feeds on most all of them to grow her power and pursue godhood. Madness! You flood me with this... this heresy! I... I will hear no more of it. Dude, I really wasn't trying to strip her naked. I was just trying to transfer gear to the other character. <laughs> um. I served Flacket the whole of my life. Learned her words. I will meet you in Boulder's Gate. Do not make me re- Lazel, I see Talakma gear in you, sister in freedom. Together, we will be our people's light. Take the Queen's warrant. I should go. Okay. Like it's gate. Keep the astral prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Now to Boulder's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazo. protocols stem. Yeah, that's a lot of protocols. Forsake one protocol and forsake Vlacketh. Forsake Vlacketh and be the blood and meat which sates her dragons. If Vos speaks true, if Ascension is a lie, if Tadpole Purification is a fairy tale, then I have not sinned against Vlacketh. She has sinned against me. There you go. is a young Gith Yankee's greatest honor. Long ago, the Gaith enslaved my people. They dominated our minds and bred us for war until Great Mother Gith took a hammer to our bonds. From the day of our hatching, young Gith have one purpose, to train hard enough to slay a Gaith and take its head. Then, we speak the rite of ascension, and a red dragon comes to fly us to Vlacketh in Tunarath, City of Death. We are honored with an eternal home in the Astral, celebrated for our victory. We are ascended, or so I believed. I 
I never thought Vlack and the tyrant for me as a vassal. She was the source of my might, and I the envoy of her will. A warrior, a champion, a destroyer. But if Voss is right, and Vlakith consumes the Ascended to gain power, then I am no destroyer. I am mere livestock, bred to be harvested and devoured. Every Githyanki is a slave with a singular purpose. Not to cull the Geich, not to prevent their grand design, but to raise Vlakith to true godhood. And who do you think is I don't prison? know. I can't know. And that drives me mad. At first, I thought them an illithid deception, a trick of the tadpole. But the dream figure is real. It lives in the prism. Voss believes they are the seed of Vlakid's demise and the agent of Githyanki freedom. And I believe he may be right. Yes. We'll meet Kithrak Voss at Charesse's caress in both. So, Lazel's going to war with Vlakith. Good for her. Enjoy it while it lasts. All right, a vendor. Yes, please. It'll take a while for us all to recover, but you've helped us take the first. Of course. I like to trade.
just literally carrying rocks. That's way cooler. All right, we cleaned them out. May you keep balance. I got rid of a lot of our overburdened stuff, and now we can just go talk to this other dude, the blacksmith guy. I swear there was a... Where's the blacksmith guy? Is it this guy? 
you did this grow. I think it's high time you all left. Our sacred grove has sheltered within the inner sanctum, of course. It is not for us to fight your battle. Mm. I assure you. Master Hudson's past his prime. It might be time for another. find him in Baldur's Gate. What's in all of these? Are you kidding me? Finish this one. Oh, no. Alright. I uh, think we'll move on.
left act one It's dark beyond dark. You feel it too, right? I'm sticking to light wherever I can find it. Ah, uh, are you the true soul? Who wants to know? I'll take that as a yes. Listen up. Grab a torch, stay out of the dark, and move fast. The shadows have eyes. Go on. One move ahead. off the shadows. So Shadow Heart has a light weapon. The pride of the gate. Which should come in pretty handy here. So I would like to put my actual weapon back on, please. Maybe? Wherever it is. seem to be harming me. The shadow curse. It doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face Maybe her wrath. Maybe it's the she giant fucking she must do. glowing mace emitting huge amounts of light. On your back. Uh, but what about me? You're resourceful. You'll find a way. <laughs> Don't give me that look. It's a good thing that I'm resistant to the shadows. This way I can help you. <laughs> Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this. Those signs we found about Dark Justicias.
take that. Ready when you are, true soul. Anything you need. Sharp as ever. Keep in pace. I'm all a only make you prettier. What's up, dude? True soul. An honor. Did you bring the liar? Why do you need we the were told to expect a true soul. That Night Warden Mintharo would send someone with her lyre to summon a guide through the darkness. I admit, I'm surprised a true soul does not know this. Where are you headed, exactly? Traveling the moonrise like you. If you're neither of us are traveling, then... The darkness here is murderous. Only safe way through is with a guide. Of course, you are free to take your chances if you wish. But I will be waiting here for the Night Warden's liar. Mithara always carried it on her person. Unless someone swiped it. As the absolute wills. Can I have that? Can't afford to stay idle. It might be on, um... Lazelle. Bunch of failed perception checks there. Fucking killing Shadow Heart. I just wanted the chest. I'll do it my way. Oh, so close. Twenty two, twenty two, twenty two, fifty six. I'm 
bullets can uh. fall. <gasps> What the fuck just happened? <laughs> okay, we're dead. Alright, I think that's probably a pretty good stopping point for tonight.
I'm gonna go this way for a bit this time. So drop one off right off the bat. Use this turns bonus action to frenzy. Okay, so it only lasts for a turn then. Can you
get out of the cloud of deck. Got the hit. I didn't need to use that. I, I rolled a crit anyway. Fuck. is where I'm going to end it for the night. So, uh, later. <laughs>